of the most important things for every individual is your identity. Where you come from and what you are. Often you hear people who grew up without their parents that they are searching for their roots. This is exactly what Cassandra does in Gemini Heroes Reborn. She had an accent when she was 12 and doesn't remember anything from her youth after that. Not who her parents are or how her life was. Completely nothing. So when she meets a cute guy who tells her that he found traces of her parents, she is immediately interested. This guy's name is Alex and he shows her around an abandoned building where the organization he works for, Renatas, wants to build a new research base. Suddenly they find out there are armed guards stationed around the building and they're trapped. Gemini Heroes Reborn is actually a prequel to a TV series called Heroes Reborn, a spin-off of the Hero series from the late 2000s. Maybe you don't remember this series, that's because it flopped gigantically. Before playing Gemini, I had no idea about it either and I played it as a standalone story. Is it worth it? Hmm, let's see. So, back to the story. After Alex is taken away by the guards, Cassandra found out that she got special powers. She can jump into the past. She can jump into the day that she got the accident, to be exact. <laughs> Coincidence? Not much later, she finds a serum that gives her telekinetic powers. And not much after that, she got the ability to slow down time. With these powers, she tries to rescue Alex, and in the process, she tries to know more about her past. These powers are your main way of defense. You are quite weak, remember, Cassandra is a teenage girl. But during the adventure, your powers get stronger. Where in the beginning you must sneak past guards and use your time switch ability a lot to get through the levels, in the last few levels you can pick up trained soldiers and throw them in an air vent or throw back rockets to a heavy rocket armed trooper. This progression is done nicely. So yes, you're getting quite powerful. But nonetheless this game is not a fighter or a shooter. Yes, you're playing in the first person, but you cannot even pick up a weapon. This makes the gameplay quite unique. There were just two games that Gemini reminded me of. Mirror's Edge and Portal. Portal because of the style of the graphics and the telekinesis. Mirror's Edge more because of the female lead and the way you must attack the cars without really having a weapon. Talking about the style of the graphics, they were really what you call a mixed bag. Some surroundings were designed so well the debris and destruction was shown in an impressive way for a 2014 game. On the other hand, the characters were often just plain ugly. The worst of them is Cassandra, and she's the main character. Of course, because Gemini uses a first person perspective, she isn't in the picture so much, but blah, she's ugly. The sounds are the opposite. They aren't good or bad. The music is functional but doesn't stand out and the voice acting is effective. I mean, I can't complain about the cheesiness of the voices, but it has its charm as well. I didn't mind it that much. You know, it's pretty hard to explain what I liked about Gemini. The gameplay is very simple. What I usually did was take something from the environment and throw it against the opponent. Yes, it is pretty fun to take a random barrel slash computer monitor slash locker and throw it against a guard. On the other hand, it isn't always precise and often you miss the throw, making you run or shift in time to get into safety. The story is also a bit of a strange mix. In the beginning I was intrigued. Later I got a bit bored with the same environment and after a twist that I did not see coming, it got very much over the top. Until I started to understand that the story was a setup for a bigger lore that the TV show was building on. Especially the main antagonist was a bit, how can I put it, overplayed might be the right word. The last thing I want to highlight is the level design. It is actually a pretty well designed game. The puzzles are done in a way that feels intuitive and every level has different feel even when they are short. And this is my biggest problem with the levels. They are really short. There are 16 levels and when you know where to go, they don't take more than 10 minutes each. This is very short for a high profile game. But is this a high profile game? Was it meant as such? 
The game was just a few euros, but it was very big, around 35 gigs. And it has a much bigger production value than most indie games, but the content seems to fall flat in most aspects. It seems to have great thoughts, but it was cut short. Just like the TV series, that was cancelled just after 13 episodes. The strange thing about Gemini Heroes Reborn is that it's very much an in-between game. It's in between AAA and Indie. It's one of those games that, in the past, would be a budget release, but on disc. Now it slipped through and no one knew about it. And that's a shame, because even though Gemini Heroes Reborn is not a masterpiece, it's certainly not a bad game. The different gameplay and the fact that it's dirt cheap would make it worth a playthrough. It is most things just a tad different. I mean, how many first person games have a female hero? I know just one other one, and I just mentioned it before. So, I would like to recommend Gemini Heroes Reborn if you are in the mood for a first person game without shooting and if you already played Portal, because Portal is a much better game. So, this is my review about Gemini Heroes Reborn. It was a bit of an experiment for me, to step into a game without knowing the series it was based on, and it was a good experience. Too bad that the game fell a bit short. Oh yeah, I wanted to add that this game would have been much better if it came out on the previous generation of consoles. Sometimes I was swearing I was playing a PlayStation 3 game. Anyway, what did you think of Ge Gemini Heroes Reborn? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to my channel if you want to show some support. And see you next time. Bye bye.